Peace and grace be to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Apparently, in uh, some places of the United States of America, uh, some people claim that Muslims, not actually Muslim students in the campus, feel hurt or felt hurt because of Christian symbols in a Catholic university or in Catholic universities in a room given by the university to Muslim students in order to have their prayer. Well, uh, as someone said, a sharp sharp one the East is East, the West is West, and they will never meet. But you may tell me that so many people integrate, so many Westerners integrate in the East, and so many Easterners integrate in the West. Well, before all, let us not forget that Christianity is not Western. Christianity is Eastern, Christianity is Palestinian, Jerusalem is the capital of Christianity. Christianity was born in Jerusalem. Now, for a series of circumstances in history, the East became less and less Christian, especially after the 16th century. But we have Nevertheless, a mentality, different mentalities, even among Eastern and Western Christians. So let alone about, let's say, people who come from different religions. Different religions give, unfortunately, different mentalities. Because religion is not just a way to address God, it is also a way of life. Different religion different mentalities. Well, I would not like to enter in discussion with that since I don't live in the States and I'm very happy to live in Palestine, in Jerusalem. And I wish all, Palestinian, all Palestinians returned to Palestine, especially those who are in the States, <laughs> if, they, if they like, if they could, if they might, if they may. But, let's say some principles. Well, actually one principle, and then facts. Two, two principles, if you don't mind. And even if you do. First principle is, every institution, especially a confessional one, has the right and the duty to have its symbols and to keep its symbols. Somebody who comes from outside this institution does not have the right to impose his own rules. Especially negatively in the sense of taking away symbols of this very institution which welcomes him or her under the pretext that this or that symbol hurts him. He is the one coming to this institution, not the opposite. The second principle, highly proclaimed by the sovereign pontiffs, especially John Paul II, Benedict XVI, is the principle of reciprocity. Reciprocity. What you ask, ask, or what you demand from a Christian, from a Catholic institution, for yourself, do you grant it? to Christian or Catholic students in your institutions. Let's suppose we have an Islamic university. Does that Islamic university, out of respect for Christian students, does that Islamic university give, give them a room to pray? And does that university, out of respect, that Islamic university, out of respect for Christian students, take away or take out the Islamic symbols from their 
from that room dedicated, if any, to Christian prayer. Unfortunately, this Ray C. Pro C. T. does not exist to the best of my knowledge. Which means that the rights and the privileges that Muslims are demanding in the West, let alone the citizenship question, well, these are rights and privileges usually they do not grant to non-Muslims in their countries and institutions. But I would like also to draw the attention of something else. This is not, I'm not talking anymore about principles now, I'm talking about the mentality. And here I'm not addressing my brethren and sisters, the Muslims, I'm addressing Christians and I'm addressing Westerners. If, but without identifying Christian with Western. Well, let's suppose that a Catholic priest gives a chapel for Muslims to pray. Or he gives it for good, contrary to the instructions, for example, of the Italian Bishops' Conference sometime after the year 2000, published by the ANSA, ANSA uh, Press Agency. Well, that Italian priest thinks he is doing something great. He says, I am giving the Muslims the possibility to pray. First question, the reciprocity. Well, second question for now. Reciprocity. If you go with your faithful, you, you the very priest who gave the Muslims the place to pray, if you go to Saudi Arabia, will you get a place to, to pray? If you go to other countries? Number two or number one? Here I would like to draw your attention, dear priests, bishops, Christians of the West, that it is dangerous to take away, for you, to take away your, our Christian symbols and to give our churches. First of all, we do not have the right to take away our symbols. It is our duty to honor our religious symbols. You are not free to take out the cross or the crucifix because it is the only, he is the only one and it is the only thing we may be proud of Galatians 6.10. Let us be proud of the Lord and only of the Lord. This you read also in 1 Corinthians. And may the Lord not allow that I boast of anything except of the cross of Jesus Christ. What makes things worse is the reaction of our dear brethren and sisters, Muslims, namely, when we take out our symbols, when we Christians give our places, our churches, our chapels for Islamic cult, Muslims say, some Muslims, many Muslims say, ah, oh, here you are. This is the proof from you that your religion is wrong since you take away your symbols. You, yourself, Nasara, you Nazareans, you are proving that your religion is wrong because you are giving to us who have the true religion, your places of cult, so you are yourself replacing the false religion by the religion of truth, which of course for them is Islam. I repeat, I'm not here to criticize, I'm only telling you as an Oriental Christian, as a Palestinian Jerusalemite Christian, that here we have two mentalities and that it is very dangerous for us Christians to give up 
our churches and our symbols. And I would like to quote at the end of this uh, YouTube, late Father Luis Khalife, God rest, rest, rest him, sorry, God rest him in peace, he's the founder of the Biblia in Arabic, great uh, magazine. He said, in the West, they sacrifice religion on the altar of the so-called rights of the human person. And in the East, they sacrifice the human persons on the altar of religion. Well, let's not be balanced. Let's not sacrifice anybody, and let's not sacrifice everything. You respect your symbols, I respect your symbol, and mine. Don't ask me to take away my symbols, especially from my institutions, from my countries, from my churches. I will not ask you to take away your symbols, especially from your houses, from your mosques, from your institutions. Let us respect each other, not sacrificing our cross and our church in order to please people under the pretext of the dignity, of the respect of the human person. What did you say? Respect of the human person? Well, let's start also with the respect of oneself. I respect you and your symbols, but I have to respect to respect myself and my faith and my symbols. Actually, I have to respect my faith and my symbols and myself. If I'm not capable of respecting myself, my religion, my symbols, I am absolutely incapable of respecting you, yourself, your faith, and your religion. Thank you for your attention.